Just finish up Three Minute Thursday and I wanted to give you guys a quick look at what's going on in the shop. This is your Jekyll Bates shop update. Probably going to air this on a Friday. I know the scheduling has been all screwed up. I had not gotten enough time to edit down a lot of the videos that I had for you guys last week. So you saw them at the beginning of this week. But this morning, I've got some special stuff to show you. It's beautiful. Love doing stuff like this. I've got some more of these that are going to be going out. So I'm just going to, I'm leaving them on the rack only because I clear coated the first coat. They need to stay on these because I have to clear coat them again. I normally, just to answer some questions, I'm going to do swim baits three times. So three coats per swim bait. Have not had an issue, to my knowledge, of any kind of DLAM issues. I know some have. You know, I'm a big supporter of KBS. I do believe in it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's a lot of products out there, and a lot of people swear by the products that they use, and I'm not knocking anybody else's products, but it's just what I use and what I love, and it works out really well for me. Stays rock hard, doesn't fade, and once it's cured, you're good to go. This is a piece... That is one of my first copper noses. I've been kind of playing around with some darker gill colors. And copper nose is one of my all-time favorites. I have never caught one, so it's on my bucket list of gills, if you can believe it. Um, there is quite a bit of that shimmer, that interference blue in this, and the darker purples. But it is a good mimic to that copper nose gill, which you can see throughout the South, Texas, Georgia, Florida, the darker strain of gills. Got more of these in soft tail format coming out. This is the mirror carp that you guys love. I'm probably gonna drop these at some point next week or this weekend. Um, but before I drop swim baits, absolutely need to make sure that they are cured and ready to ship. I'm not gonna drop anything before it's ready to ship. So most of the time when I do the drops on the baby gills, I've got the clear coat on and they're hanging and they're ready to go within like the next three to four days. So the same is true, if not more pressing for these guys. But there is that signature mirror carp pattern that I've been doing this year and you guys love it. I love it too. It's great on a soft tail. Soft tail, you know, a lot of people ask me what my favorite bullshad is now that I'm into swim baits and I'm a noob at swim baits so I'm learning with the rest of you guys that are new. Some of you guys are veterans and I've kind of landed on the right place to be as far as the knowledge that I've been soaking up and there's just so much to learn when it comes to swim baits. I'm never going to profess to say that I know everything there is to know, and I certainly cannot say that about swim baits. It is a whole new ball game. But of the ones that I've swam, I love the soft tail. It's probably one of the most versatile of the bull shad baits. Same thing with that orange tail. A lot of carp do have that orangish tail, so I kind of wanted to stay natural on these. And then that orange tail. These tails are interchangeable, which is one of the things that makes it so versatile. Um, it's also very similar, if not the exact same, if you guys pay attention to the baits, as the wake and the 4x4. Four four. Slightly different placement of a few things here. But uh, just my one of, if not my favorite, of the swim baits. And that's with that traditional bullshad eye on it. Also got that spring red. Spring red is kicking this time of year. And uh, a lot of folks catching fish on the red colors, especially when they're on the beds. You can kind of pull those guys off. I'm going to set this because the my little uh, keeper came off. We've got another camo. If you guys are into camo, I mean, you're a prior service like me. It's a great profile bait, makes a great night bait. You can interchange it with the glow tail, and you're good to go. Got another little traditional, if not like the table rock style of gill. Also got some interference going on. And what do I mean by interference paint? Well, if you can see it shimmer with that mica in the paint, that's what I'm talking about. The paint that's there and then it's not there and then this just got a little one of my shad patterns 
And I don't normally scale my shad like some of these guys are doing. They're using the, the netting and the wire to scale those. Those are gorgeous. But because everybody else does it, I try not to. I just try to go with a paint blend, keep it simple. On these bull shads, they're scaled anyways. That's one of the cool things about it is that it does already have a pre-mold going on with it. And then just a few others. This is the white crappie that um, I showed off on Instagram the other day. Got four of these. Front-facing eyes, and that's just airbrushed. Just a great spring pattern. I'm trying to stick with uh, the spring patterns for you guys. And these are on the 7-inch gill glides. And again, these have got their first coat, and they will have a total of three, maybe four. They're thin coats with KBS, so you don't have to worry about a whole lot of weight addition like you do with some of the heavier epoxies or two parts. This is that Tennessee darter. Love doing darters for smaller waters. And the Hulk. That's got a home. This is going out to Lisa McNeese, who had requested one some time ago when I was doing that limited series run. Can't call it Sriracha. That's a Guggen name, although it really isn't a Guggen name. It's per se. Sriracha is a hot sauce. But we are calling it Texas Pete. Got a couple of those. This one's a little bit darker. And then a tilapia going out to Mr. Raydell. So that is all the news that's fit to print for you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see you on the next video. It'll be a spray session. Cheers. And happy casting from Jekyll Bates at Bullshad Studios. I've got something in my throat. I don't know what it is. It's crazy.